Well, uh, we have Erin Finn here, here from uh, West Bloomfield, and uh, she's kind of on the cross-country roll. I saw her in New York, uh, got what, three weeks ago, and uh, she did a junior nationals, and then this. So, uh, how'd you feel about today's performance? Um, I'm a 5K runner, like you just said, and so I, right now, I'm not in any kind of shape where I can run a fast, a really fast quarter. So um, the race went out really slow, like slower than my 5K pace, and that just kind. Of, I knew from right there that I was going to have trouble racing because I, because I knew they were just going to like keep picking it up each lap till they were running faster than I could, even on fresh legs. So, um, cause they're, cause the girls who are leading are milers and I'm not, so, um, and it's, it's, I'm just very, very disappointed. Um, but I guess i I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm in the middle of cross country training. I did a good eight mile up pace, up eight mile run two days ago. So that was fun. And then just kind of taking in the experience of camp. So. Well, uh, we asked uh, both uh, the other two young ladies from Michigan about their experience up there at the Nike Beaverton Complex. How did you like it up there? Um, I have absolutely loved it. Um, hopefully one day I'll be, be able to be back as a Nike athlete. Um, uh, it's been super cool. Uh, I absolutely love the girls I've met. Uh, the our people who've been kind of telling us everything. Our, our organizers, Drew and Pat, have been amazing and super nice. We've been treated like superstars, and I am so honored to be to have been invited. Well, um, that is quite the complex, and I'm sure you'll never forget it. Um, and uh, after you did, did you do some of the water training and stuff like that? How do you feel about running in one of those tanks up there? Did you try that? I actually did not run in a tank, but I did run in. Uh, I did run on a gait analysis thing. Would you like me to speak about that? Or all right. Um, I okay. So they put us on this treadmill, and they were film and they were filming us, and. They were, yeah, so they were filming us, and we played my stride in slow motion. So I supinate and overpronate a ton, and that makes sense because when I run with shoes that don't have any support, my knees start to hurt really badly. So um, they showed me some Nike shoes, and that um, would really help kind of make sure my knees don't hurt when I put in those higher mileage weeks. And yeah, it was cool. I actually was watching the video, and I was like, oh my gosh, that must hurt, just like watching it. And I, my leg totally goes way to the side and way in. Well, so. at least you know something to work on from this point on. And, uh, well, now you're moving into your cross-country season and you've had quite the whirlwind uh, season here for track. Uh, you've got some big goals set for uh, cross-country at this point? Um, yeah, I, um, those last two weeks of track have been, or three weeks of track have been a little disappointing, but um, we'll, we'll see. Um, Hopefully it'll just give me fuel for uh, cross country. And um, yeah, I hope to make it to nationals and run well at nationals. I've yet to decide which one I'm going to do. Um, possibly I'll double at Foot Locker and, and Nike because we're lucky in the Midwest that we can do that. Um, and yeah, um, I'm just hoping to get some PRs. I actually, one of my main goals is to break Megan Gothel's record for our county meet course. And that would make me really happy. So, Well, congratulations. Good luck with your goals. And uh, keep on dreaming. And hopefully we will see you out here in four years from now at the Olympic Trials. That's the plan. Great. Awesome. <laughs>